morning guys all right so don't hate me but i have kind of sucked at daily vlogging this weekend i decided to take the day off yesterday because honestly it just ended up being really crazy and i'm trying to give myself a little bit of slack with like you know pretty much everything in these last couple weeks before the wedding because things are just absolutely crazy and something has to give and so unfortunately yesterday that was vlogging i just I just didn't have time to pick up the camera and kind of update you guys and so I just decided to give my day, myself a day off and not try not feel too guilty about it because I'm doing the best I can and um, so anyways yesterday we had our third and final bridal shower I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this to you guys um, so we went up there for that yesterday morning ish and um, it was a whole lot of fun we celebrated with some family that kind of lives around here that hadn't been able to make it to the other two showers and so it was really really nice and um, we, there was like mimosas and Bloody Marys, although I stuck to mimosas. I've never had a Bloody Mary and I'm still a little iffy about them. Just tomato juice. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not following. <laughs> but there was also lots of yummy food. Um, all of it Melissa could eat. It was all super yummy. There was, um, there was French toast, which I didn't try, but Melissa tried and she said it was really good. And she actually brought some of that home. So I think I might try that whenever she like heats it back up. But there was a really good, I loved, um, there was like a spinach salad with butternut squash and like um, quinoa, uh, some like little, I think pepitas, I don't know, and just a whole bunch of stuff in, and then like a honey mustard sauce that was really, really good. There was like fruit salad and what else? There was one, oh, there was like an omelette -y omelet thing with like a uh, sausage in it. And it was just, it was really good. Lots of good food. <laughs> so yeah, we kind of just, you know, hung out for a couple hours there and, you know, just hung out with family. Oh, we also did um, another fun bridal shower game. And we were actually talking about it this morning that it's kind of funny that not a single bridal shower game has been repeated throughout the three showers that we've had. At every single one, we've had like new and different games. And so that was kind of fun. Um, at this one, we did the one where Melissa and I kind of sat back to back in two chairs and one of us would have a whiteboard and then um, someone would ask us like questions like what is your you know favorite memory together or what's your most embarrassing story or something like that and then one person would the one person would write their answer on the whiteboard and then the other person that didn't have the whiteboard would have to guess what the person wrote on the whiteboard basically I hope that kind of makes sense but that was kind of the gist of it and so that was a lot of fun lots of laughs <laughs> lots of laughs at that game um but yes yeah, so that was a lot of fun and yeah we kind of just hung out for most of the day and after that was over Melissa and I had a couple errands to run at the mall and so we headed over there and um we spent most of the time actually while we were in the mall just in Crate and Barrel because we had to um we were exchanging something and then we were also looking at I've been talking to you guys too about this trying to pick out this freaking comforter might kill me and so I don't know I think we might have decided to go with the one from Crate and Barrel um but it's really 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 thin and so it wouldn't be poofy at all but it is down alternative we, we I think we've definitively decided to go with down alternative so that's at least that's decided um and we now we're thinking we might register for like the light the thin one from Crate and Barrel and then since we're going to get married, it's going to be summertime, and then once it gets a little cooler, just buy a second, you know, heavyweight one for the winter ourselves, so that we end up with a light and a medium one instead of just, or a light and a heavy one instead of just a medium one. I don't know, we still haven't made a final decision, but that's kind of one of the things we're considering now with the comforter. Um, and we kind of just also window shopped around Crate and Barrel. Um, ooh, we did pick up two, like, Crate and Barrel is one of the only stores, or like, you know, big, I guess, chain retail store or whatever that has um, a whole bunch of same-sex friendly wedding paraphernalia, basically. We have a cute little like heart ceramic Mrs. and Mrs. ring dish and um, I think that's the only other thing that we have previously bought from the line. They have all sorts of stuff. They like champagne glasses that you can just buy, you know, singularly so you can get whatever gender you need. And then we got two Mrs. Plates. And so they're like, you know, white plates with a gold rim and then in gold foil kind of in the middle it says Mrs. And so we got two of those, which we're probably going to bring to the wedding. Um, and other than that, I think we kind of just wandered around and added a couple more things to our registry. Melissa really wanted some um, stemless champagne glasses because we've been really into drinking lots of Prosecco at home recently. And so she wanted to add some stemless champagne glasses and so we picked out those. Um, and yeah, we kind of just wandered around Crate and Barrel and looked at all the different stuff that we would buy if we had endless amounts of money. And yeah, it was a whole lot of fun. We really like doing that. I don't know, Melissa and I like walking through like home stores and just window shopping, I guess. And so that was a whole lot of fun. 
And then we also got to window shop at Tiffany's because we are picking, like, I mean, not picking out. Yeah, I mean, we are picking out for the other person. Okay, this is way more complicated than it should be. We're buying wedding gifts for each other, and Melissa basically just kind of wanted to take a quick spin and let me kind of point out a couple things that caught my eye and that, you know, I would like. So she can just make sure she has kind of an idea of, you know, what I like, basically. I mean, she obviously, I mean, we've been dating for almost seven years. She pretty much knows, but I just think she wanted a little more, you know, just to make sure that she picks out something good. So yeah, we walked through there a little bit and that was a lot of fun. And then I think that's all we did while we were at the mall. And then we just went home after that. Is that right? Is that what we did? Uh, we did stop at Target on our way home because we needed to get Mother's Day cards. But um, yeah, other than that, I think we just went right home and then we ended up, we tried, I, we were so weird. So we wanted to, um, so we, when we got hidden figures from Redbox, we also picked up La La Land because obviously everyone is talking about that movie. It's won all sorts of awards. We love Emma Stone. And, um, who's the other guy? Oh man, it's so much fun made me because I don't know his name. The Notebook guy? I'm drawing a complete blank. I don't know what his name is. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we tried to watch La La Land yesterday and we were both really excited we've, because we've both really been wanting to watch it because it's so highly recommended. And we like, I don't know, kind of made it through half an hour, I think, but neither of us really ever got draw, like pulled into it and we were kind of just like, mm. and I'm, I don't think either of us really to begin with are like musical type of people. And so I don't know if we just maybe weren't in the right mood to watch it last night. I, we were going to try and give it another chance at some point, but we ended up turning it off and Melissa and I aren't really the type of people to like ever turn off a movie halfway through or to like stop watching a show that we have been watching if it like you know turns bad Grey's Anatomy <laughs> and um so yeah we just I don't know we weren't feeling it and we decided to stop watching that and start watching The Theory of Everything again because I, I don't know it kind of popped into my head the other day and so I've really or like last night actually I think it just came up and we just decided to watch it because we actually own it and oh my God, I love that movie. It's like the sweetest freaking love story ever. And it's just so inspiring. And so I, it's such a well done movie. If you haven't seen it, it's the story of Stephen Hawking. And um, it kind of follows him from his college age to like, you know, falling in love and getting married and having kids and obviously the progression of his disease. And just, it's, I just think it's such a well done movie and I really love it. And so, yeah, I mean, I'd seen it before, but I really enjoyed watching it again. It'd been a while and it's just like the first like whole hour of the movie, I have this smile plastered on my face just cause it's like, they're so sweet. Him and his wife, they're just the cutest freaking couple in the world. And it's just like absolute marriage goals. <laughs> but yeah, so we watched that and that was really nice. We stayed up way too late because we started it way too late. So we went to bed way too late and then got like no sleep last night, but that's okay. Um, we woke up this morning and pretty much almost not immediately. I mean, we had like an hour or two or something before we had to leave, but we went out to brunch with my family for obviously today is Mother's Day. And so we went to a little, it's called Bolton Hill, Bolton Hill Bistro. If you're in the Baltimore area, it was really, really good. They had like a special Mother's Day brunch menu and I ended up getting chicken and waffles which was interesting. I've always wanted to try it and it always sounded like it would be a good combination and I was not disappointed. Um, I didn't end up putting any syrup on it. I think that would have been, I don't know, I'm not a huge syrup person to begin with so I don't know, I just didn't put it on but I liked the whole salty with the sweetness of the waffle so that was really good. Um, and obviously we had mimosas. We actually had blood orange mimosas, which were really, really fun. So yeah, we just ate brunch and hung out and talked. And then Melissa and I came home and then Melissa's mom actually just came over here because Melissa and her mom went out hiking during like the day, like right now, that's where Melissa is. <laughs> and so, yeah, but her mom kind of hung out here for a little bit before they left. And then afterwards, I think, um, Either they're going to come back and pick me up, or I might just go meet them somewhere. We haven't really made a plan for exactly what we're doing, but that's the plan. So that we kind of celebrated with, you know, my parents or my mom in the morning, and then Melissa's mom in the, after in the you know, evening-ish, I guess it'll be. So, yeah, that's kind of a quick update for you guys. Again, sorry I didn't vlog yesterday, and I kind of am starting today late. I'm just trying, I'm basically just trying to get through these next couple of weeks, and things are just keep getting, you know, piled on and on, and there's just, like, so much that needs to get done in these last couple of weeks, and there's, like, you know, all these parties, and obviously holidays, and just stuff that needs to get done, that it's, 
it's pandemonium over here. So I think I just might need to be a little flexible in the next couple of weeks with vlogging, unfortunately, and with the editing. But I am going to continue to try and do my very best and just please bear with me. It will only be for three weeks. I think it's 20 days now. So yeah. We're almost there. Afterwards, I am going to like seriously buckle down on the vlog because I'm going to have so much more time at my disposal and I want to kind of like, I don't know, start investing a lot more time in the vlogs and making them better and doing lots more, you know, like time lapses and montages and just really cool like editing stuff because I really do enjoy that. And so, yeah, obviously I haven't been doing much of that recently. It's mostly kind of just been talking at you guys and updating you like that, but I would love to do some more, you know, fun stuff with the vlog. And yeah, so that's gonna, you know, have to wait till after the wedding. But yeah, just so you know, this craziness will not last forever. But yeah, I think I am going to go. I have to do some laundry and then clean up the dishes because even, I mean, our kitchen is an absolute disaster because I haven't even had time to like empty the dishwasher the last couple days because we've been, you know, running around to the bridal shower and then, you know, Mother's Day brunch and all this stuff. So I'm gonna kind of try and get this house in order as much as I can before I have to go head out to celebrate with Melissa and my mother-in-law. <laughs> All right, so I got a load of laundry in and then I ran around the kitchen like a crazy person, unloading the dishwasher, reloading the dishwasher with all of our new glassware that we've received over the last like week or so that needs to be washed so it can be put away, and then hand washing some of the new stuff that can't be dishwashed, hand washing all the pots that have piled up over the last couple days, and my counters are absolutely full of dishes drying, so as soon as they're drying, I get to put those away and then hand wash more dishes. <laughs> so. It's a lot of work, but I'm really happy to get things kind of going back to normal and not having, you know, just, I don't know, messy dishes everywhere and clutter all over the apartment and things are starting to get a little back in order. So that feels good, but I'm going to take a break and sit down and do some editing because I still have to edit the vlog and get it up for you guys. So I think I'm a little out of practice with this whole vlogging thing because Melissa got home and I forgot to vlog since she got home. <laughs> How was your hike? It was good. Yeah? What yeah. did you guys do? We obviously hiked. <laughs> We went to a place called Oregon Ridge. We looked at some animals. Yeah. It's a nature center and they have like hiking trails. But they also have like a bunch of kids programs and like they have animals and stuff. We looked at some turtles. Fun. A peacock, a male female peacock. So it wasn't one of the pretty ones. No. Um, some chickens. Awesome. A goose. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I didn't know they had animals at Oregon Trail. Yeah. That's awesome. Oregon, Ridge. Oregon Ridge. Whoops. <laughs> That's fun, I my did. Legs, I'm like sitting in that weird position where like my leg looks huge. Yeah, but down. But like I look tiny, my head looks tiny. <laughs> you haven't missed much since she got back. We, what did we do? Had we dinner. ate dinner. We, I had leftovers from the shower and you had, had more leftovers than noodles. Yeah, leftovers. Which we never told you guys, like so good. The so meatballs. The meatballs were amazing. Oh my god. We like devoured them. The first time, the first night there was only five left. Yeah. And you guys saw how many she made. She made a lot. And then did you make more the second night or did we no. just No. But I, I, I'm probably going to make more this week. Yeah, they, they were, really were good. so good. You should They're like, easy too. Put like the recipe link or something in. Okay. Or something. They were like so, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, and then we've just been watching Scorpion since then, and we ordered our cake, knife, and server server set, and I'm really excited about that. My parents still, like, every single birthday, or I guess birthdays is the only time you really have cake. Yeah. So every single birthday, my parents, like, you know, use their wedding cake, knife, and server set to serve the cake, and it still has, like, the original, they had, I don't know, like... They had, like, a little ribbon tied on it. Yeah, like decoration for yeah. it that's like still on there you know how many yeah 30 years later I don't know how many years later I don't know over 30 I think now because I'm 27 and they've been married like six years something like that so yeah they've been married a good long time and still have the original decoration on it which is why so I think I'm gonna try and put some ribbon on ours so we can kind of do something like that too yeah yeah and that's kind of all that we've been up to. I'm trying to pick out Merritt's wedding present. Mm -hmm. How's that going? It's going okay. I have some things mm -hmm. to think about. Nice. Excellent. I already have hers. Yes, she does. <laughs> so yeah, now we are going to watch the show. Oh, I think I just figured it out. Figured what out? My dilemma. For my present? Yeah. Oh, okay. It just clicked. <laughs> it just clicked, guys. You saw it here yeah. first. <laughs> I have lots of ideas like that. Yeah. All of a sudden, something just clicked. Merritt loves it, because most of the time I interrupt her when it clicks. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back! 
But so we are going to watch The Social Network, which again we've seen, but like Mary's we're just really in. Been wanting to watch it again. Yeah, I have. So I'm excited. We wanted to watch. I wanted to watch. Is it The Circle or just Circle? The Circle. The Circle. I, I really want to watch that, but new. it's still in theaters. So. Yeah. We also yeah. rewatched The Theory of Everything last night. We've seen that I told before them. too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was kind of giving them a little recap since we took the day off. <laughs> Sorry. We did. Huh? We did take the day yeah. off. And I was just telling them, Guys, like, these vlogs, we've been talking about it seriously, like, behind the scenes. <laughs> They're going to get, I mean, we're going to, we just, our brains are so into, like, this yeah. wedding right now. But afterwards, we really want to start to, like, make the vlogs better and, like. Put a lot of time in I'm going to try and start really starting to vlog, mm -hmm. like. Using her camera. When I'm, like, not, you know, when I'm, like. In the morning when I get up. Maybe not in the morning when I get up, but, like, on the I don't the know if you guys home. want to see her in the morning yeah. when she gets up. <laughs> Grumpy. Um, but, like, yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna, it, like, I do stuff at lunch sometimes. I run to, like, stores. I have a whole hour for lunch, so. Just add a little more interest yeah. to things and, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I might even dabble in editing some vlogs on the weekends. Oh, really? Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, so we're just kind of trying to give ourselves a little bit of leeway until the wedding, and then after that, we're going to really try yeah. and kind of buckle down. So bear with us. We definitely mm -hmm. plan on vlogging on our honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so the one thing I kind of wanted to like talk to like you guys and you about is like what we're going to do on like the wedding day, because obviously, like, I'm not going to be able to just vlog yeah. on our wedding day, but I still want to somehow share it with you guys as much as possible, somehow... I just don't know exactly how that will be. I'm really trying to make a plan so that I will have some vlog footage to share with you guys. And But I don't really know how it'll end yeah. up yet. I mean, because I, I get comments and everyone's like, I'm so excited for your wedding! And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to show it to you. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I really am trying. figure it out. Her yeah. maid of honor, Maggie, she's very... When you went dress shopping, yeah. she took most of the the clips of like she gets it so like yeah but i also don't want to a like have her yeah she's be gonna be part of it yeah so. and also like you know say like the actual like wedding part she's gonna be standing up there just like we are and we're not gonna like yeah. have like holding camera you know a camera yeah, yeah. i mean I obviously there'll be like the video like we're getting video and i'm gonna share that with you guys from yeah. the wedding so like merit will share that yeah but i just kind of wanted to like start bringing it up that we are thinking about it and we don't really have an official plan yet but I'll kind of keep you guys updated as I you know if you guys have had a wedding with... and you have a YouTube channel what'd you guys do yeah let us know because I, I really want to figure this out yeah maybe I'll just do some vlogging like kind of in the morning while we're getting ready and then just maybe a couple clips here and there throughout just it might not be as cohesive and as you know encompassing of the whole day but just kind of some random clips throughout the day to kind of just show something I don't know Yep. We'll see. But yeah, we're going to start our movie. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So I think we are going to end things a little earlier tonight because we probably won't have enough time to finish the movie because we started it a little later than we were initially planning. And so I want to be able to kind of watch it as late as possible and then just jump right in bed. So if she ends the vlog now, I will let her stay up later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we are going to say goodnight. Melissa's making us popcorn right now. Want to say hello? Hello. Hello. I'll come over there so you can say goodnight with me. But I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to follow along with all of our daily vlogs, and the last 19 days of planning our wedding. <laughs> I know, that's pretty much how I feel. <laughs> but we will see we you guys. We have so much to do. So much to do. Tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night.